What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Unicorns in the Basement. I'm Raziel. I'm Koya. And today we're going to be talking about a particular topic that it's a dangerous word. It ruins so many relationships. Um, people be fist fighting on World Star about this stuff, man. They be on Instagram reels when they say sensitive content. You gotta click and start beating each other up in the street about it. And it's torn so many relationships to hell. And the word I'm talking about is compromise or being compromised or compromising is the real word I'm looking for, <laughs> the, the real definition of the word. Um, a lot of people get compromised and confused for different things. We're gonna we're gonna cover all that. But um, just starting off, that's what we're gonna be talking about right now. And the person that bring it to our attention, it wasn't actually on our agenda in the beginning. Somebody bring it up to us on our Unicorns in the Basement page. User just underscore J underscore Marie said in bold letters, topic alert. Please explore this more because I'm torn. Example, if Bay wants to go to an event and I want to go somewhere else, parentheses, on the same day, shouldn't one compromise? Take it away, take it away, take it away <laughs> now. <laughs> um, should you compromise? I really feel like it depends. Um, like when they say event, I'm, I'm thinking of like a concert or you know something that's happening right. that it seems like it's nothing that like it could be you know once a year or nothing. It's just something that you know you have to like know about in advance, you know. So I feel like if it's a situation like that, then that person probably brought it up to you a week ago, two weeks ago that hey, I want to go to this thing, you know, right. on this date. So if that happens, then if you bring up something else that weekend or that day or whatever day, then I feel like it's not really a compromise. It's like a, you know, they brought it up first. Like it's fair. Yeah, it's right. not fair. You know, it's not really like a What What compromise. if it was brought up at the same time? Like we'll be sitting at, sitting at this dinner table and you come home on to talk to me about something and I come home on to talk to you about something that we kind of bring it up. Obviously not at the same time, but the same day. That's tough. <laughs> I mean, like, what do you think? Because that's, that's tough to me. I mean, my opinion is like, it depends on what it is. Like, if one of our events is so important in the sense of like, it might not happen again. Mm -hmm. You know, Drake in town, right. and he charges twenty dollars a ticket. <laughs> so you know, because we've been deprived from concerts and stuff like that because right. of Corona and stuff like that. So you know, now we're like. You know, I gotta go to this Drake concert. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't afford the ticket before or something. Or when I could afford a, afford a ticket, I had the nosebleed seats. But now <laughs> I, I could be sitting. Now it's like front row. I'm front row. He, he could give me all the COVID. You know, <laughs> he, he, he just <laughs> spit in my face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but you know what I'm saying? Just being funny. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like it's, a, it's, a, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Right. And it ain't gotta be that. It could just be something that might not happen again. Mm -hmm. And the other person's event might be like a brand new restaurant's opening up or something. Right. Or a party that they wanna go to or something their girlfriend's is planning something or a bo boyfriend's. I don't know what I'm saying. When, when girls like, me and my girlfriend's gonna do this, the guy can't be like, yeah, me and my boyfriend's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it, can't do it. You guys said boys. My boys. My boys. <laughs> so basically, um, I feel like you gotta outweigh and be really honest with yourself. Which one, not necessarily is more important. Right. Which one it's possible that won't happen again. Mm -hmm. And which one can be done later. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And excuse me, I'm just touching the mouse here for my, the screen won't turn off, I'm loading something. But um, you know, so, <laughs> actually I'm, I'm editing another episode. But um, what you call it? So where it might happen, that particular event might not happen again. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're not yours, but whoever the guy of the great event could happen again, or it's just something that we could miss this time. And you know, you usually want to go because like everything's aligned. Like maybe your people's gonna be there, right? And this and this and that. And in that situation, you might want to just be like, all right, you know, you go to yours, I go to mine. But if it's a situation where you want to go together, yeah, you might have to outweigh what's to me, in my opinion, outweigh honestly. 
what might what which event might not happen again right or happen for a long time right and which one is something that we've done before right right or you're not destroyed distraught if you missed it right you know you gotta you gotta pull away the well why we gotta do what you want to do factor right. you gotta pull that away yeah because like, it's more of a couple decision right it's like not... I, I didn't say i'm going to the drake concert yeah and if you want to come you can come you can go to your first thing it's hey let's go right over there. like you really you genuinely want to spend time with it spend time right. with your spouse so you're right partner. and it shouldn't be like you guys are getting into a fight about something that you're going to do together right you know what I mean? Yeah. Because no matter what you're doing, you should be able to have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Now, I get some situations might be more fun than the other, or some situations might be difficult to have fun at. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, we're going to my friend's house, or we're going to my mom's house for this and this and that. And I'm like, <laughs> mm. right. I want to go with it. Oh, but my mom really invited us to this. And I'm like, your mom going to be there tomorrow. But, but, it's, it's kind of difficult when family is involved. Especially if it's your mom or your dad that's like, please come to something. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's when you got to outweigh what's more important. But, at the same time, you got to outweigh what's important to you guys. Yeah. Yes, your mom and dad are important, but Drake ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying... Drake ain't coming back. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying Drake is more come on this way for the camera. I'm not saying Drake is more important than your parents. That's not what I'm saying. That's good. I'm not saying Drake is more important than your parents. Right. I'm just saying your parents, along with your with you guys, should understand, like, hey, look, this is really happening, blah 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 blah. Right. Whatever your parents got have can we on the topic of parent, whatever your parents are doing can happen again. And this is that's like, not true. And this is like true. their anniversary. I was gonna say it could be like their fiftieth. Well, not that's, 50th, but it's their fiftieth birthday, birthday or something. But oh, they, birthday! I was gonna say anniversary. But they want their kids to be there. That's okay, and you saying. can be halfway. Like, yo, Drake don't come till nine. Yes. Yeah, can we that's can true. we do this at six? That's true. Oh, could I pop? You can't. You can't be like, can we do this at six, mom? When well, she already, made, <laughs> she already made it. <laughs> the time. <laughs> well, you know. In that situation, it might be... See, all right. That's a good one. Like, right? So, in that situation... It's, it's it, tough. It, no, it's tough. It's, 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 it's tough. It's, I got an yeah. answer for it. it. My thing is, it's tough. But the thing is, in that situation, you got to be super out of control, real with you. Like, your mom ain't going to hate you if you miss the birthday. Some people's mothers, yeah. Well, I'm going to see you. I, I might just not show up to the party. Or at the party time. Yeah. Or at the party time. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can show up and chill with you. I can have breakfast with you. Well, that's true. That's I can true. hang out with you. I can have lunch with you. I can make it real personal and take you wherever we will allow. And then I can true. even come afterwards. If, if your party's done before the concert, so we probably in the track. I'm glad I went to the concert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. But my point is, I wish I knew what the event was that she was talking about. Yeah, I think she was talking about random because some people feel like they do have to compromise because it's gonna an argument's gonna happen, you know. Well, see, I, and I'm glad you mentioned the word compromise again. Kind of forgetting what the, what the word what, what the word was for a second. People get compromised, confused because, for example, let's say I'm just making up anything. Let's say I drink and let's say you smoke. Mm -hmm. Say you smoke weed or something. Oh, I smoke weed and you drink, whatever. And when I drink, this is not true, I'll just make up an example. When I drink, I get smashed all over the place and I'm embarrassing you wherever we go. Right. And in the house, I'm falling asleep on the floor, I'm throwing up. I don't know how to handle my liquor. Mm -hmm. I can put that, but you don't like that about me. But I got no problem with you smoking. Mm -hmm. Right? You smoke, you chill, you fall asleep, chill. Now, you come to me one day and go, I need you to stop drinking or slow it down. Mm -hmm. Right? So I have to compromise, like, all right, this is bothering my wife, and she's trying to tell me if my own good. Right. Now, I compromise, I mean, for my well-being, but that's not what I'm thinking about. I'm just thinking, ah, I'm going to stop drinking because she asked me to stop drinking. Yeah. Now, you comp that's compromising. Are you going to stop drinking or slow it down, minimize it, whatever you're going to do, compromise. Because mm -hmm. it's making you uncomfortable, and 
it's not good for me. Right. Now, with that being said, that does not mean that now I go, well, <laughs> since I'm stopping drinking, you gotta stop smoking. That, 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 that's not fair <laughs> because I originally had no problems with smoking. I, didn't, I right. never mentioned it. Right. You know what I mean? It ain't that much smoke with you. I, I got no problem with it. It's like and now you just, you just I'm trying being to. vindictive. Yeah. Now I'm just like, yeah. oh, you took something from me. I'm taking something yes. from you. Yes. And that's when you start getting into fights. Yep. But that's not compromising. Yeah. That's fighting. Right. The, like, yeah, you're trying to start something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, okay. You know, I, I, I can't. You know, I, I can't turn on the lights when I'm walking to the bathroom and you're just walking the dog. Well, shit, you can't go to sleep with the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You start doing stupid stuff. Yeah. You start pointing out things. Yeah. That never even bothered that never, you before. Yeah. That's the thing. You just, you, now you just, and you reach for that because you're trying to hurt me now. Yeah. Now you're like, oh, I really like drinking. And I get what she's saying where it's a problem. Mm -hmm. But I like but. drinking. So... <laughs> Oh, I'm taking them away. You know, well, you you just can't wear shoes no more. It, it's something stupid. Like, well, you, well, if I well, if I can't drink, you you can't go shopping that much anymore. Right. And it's like what? It's like okay, what are we talking about here? Yeah, like, what's like, happening? What's going and, then, on? and then fight. Yep. Then fight. And then fight. And so people confuse the word compromising for vengeance, for I gotta get back at you. They get mm -hmm. vindictive. Mm -hmm. you, they lose the whole purpose. Yeah. Some of that has to do with the, the form of communication though. Yeah. Like, you know, you have to explain to the person, like, hey, you should boom, 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 boom. And when they start getting all defensive, like, well, you should this and this and that, they have to, you have to explain to them, like, well, hold on. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you help us. Right. You're telling me, I gotta do this now. You, that doesn't do nothing. That doesn't benefit nothing. Now, you, now you're just taking something away from me. Now you're just being spiteful. Right. You know what I mean? So, like that, you know, the, the person that brought the question, it's like, let's say, let's say if, if, if she was going to the club with her friends because some friends were in town and he wanted to go, let's say it was the same exact event. Mm -hmm. Right? Just like his is on the left and hers is on the right. Mm -hmm. You know? Now, that's when you got to weigh out things. Can you invite the people from this event over to this event right. and still have the same amount of funds? It's a mm -hmm. di different atmosphere. That's an option. Mm -hmm. Or invite his party over to that party. It's like you have to weigh out the options for yeah. each other. You some people, talk about Some it. people get so stuck on what's happening versus what they can make happen. Right. You oh, that's it? a good one. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. What they can make. Like, hey, we can go to that club and blah, 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 blah. But then my people, but why don't you just come over here? Right. If the if the event is me and my this is the girl her for her because she brought the question. If the situation is and we don't know her situation, we're just saying if the situation is she was she had a girls' night planned. Mm -hmm. Oh, not even a girls' night because she's inviting the guy. She had a night planned. Mm -hmm. Girls inviting their boyfriends, then boyfriends inviting this person. This is a group of people going, and she really wanted him to come to bond with all that. Right. You know, she maybe want to show him off or something, whatever. But he's like, man, I really da 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 over here. Mm -hmm. Just invite that crowd over there. Right. You know what I mean? And those are, if they're really your friends, they'll compromise. Now you got everybody compromising. Everybody compromising. <laughs> they'll compromise the location to be able to stay with the team, yeah. the, the whole crew that, that nobody's missing. Right. Versus everybody's over there and her boyfriend went to hang out with his friends and as she's sitting in a crowd of people with boyfriends, girlfriends, you know, lovers and everything, and she's just like, or worse, she goes over there with him, and it's all guys, and then she's the only one. Right. But the thing is that they're both inviting each other, so it sounds like that's not what it was going to be. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, they have that, there's always a way on how to reach a point where both parties are satisfied. Mm -hmm. Whether you find out that it's, this, n n nothing is more important than the other, but this might not happen again. Right. Or, we've done that before. Right. You know, or tell them, let's go over here together. Tell them, let's go over there together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or figure out there's actually a way, and this is a compromise on both sides, figure out there's actually a way to minimize the time frame on both and right. do both. do both. Mm -hmm. I keep saying both. Both. <laughs> you know, and do both. Yeah. And see if you can minimize it here, minimize it here. Granted, you may not want to do that, 
But at least you're truly showing like, ah, right, look, I'm listening to your want. Mm -hmm. And you're listening to my want or your need and my need. Let's go over there for two hours, go over there for two hours. And get creative. You could go over there for two hours, you could go over there for two hours, then the rest of the night go do something random. Right. And that's the problem with couples now. They really they really be act, acting like if they don't get to do this particular thing, they don't see tomorrow. Yeah. When the fight starts and like they really stay stuck on what it is that bothered them. And they they stay there. Yeah. Then tomorrow come and they're still fighting about yesterday. When they can do they can be doing something today. <laughs> and then sometimes somebody try to make it up to them, but they still mad. And when they're making it up to them with it's better. Sometimes right. like, yeah, you wanted silver, I want you platinum. Nah, cause you didn't listen to me when I wanted What's silver. It's the uh it's the principle. It's the principle. <laughs> The principal. I wanted the silver. No, it ain't the principal. People can another thing they confuse principal with twins pride. Yeah. Well, it's the principal. No, it's your pride. True. Your pride. Cause the principal to who? Right. Like the principal, I get what you're saying, like you feel like if I pushed you over and made you lean towards my will, you feel like it's always going to happen like that. Mm -hmm. That's when you gotta be honest and, and have have faith and confidence in yourself in the sense of, alright. I compromised and went to his event. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that every time it happens, you have to be like, all right. All right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and because you went to his event, doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that next time that situation happens again, you go, well, we went to your thing last time, we got go, we have to go to mine now. Sure. That does not mean that. Sure. His, oh, like, I hate seeing his, I'm just saying his kind of guy, but hers could be better than yours. Mm -hmm. So don't be like, don't don't mess up your blessings and go to a fun place because you be like, oh, you know, we went to yours last time, so we got you mine. Right. And you know in the back of your head, his is better, or hers is better. And you just, you just want to stick to the <laughs> principle. Right. You know, so... Yours just... Not saying that massage is not fun, but yours is just a massage and his is like trap music pain. <laughs> a trap? What's that? You know, it's a thing. What? What did yeah. you say? Trap music painting. Oh, oh. You paint, you paint. Is it a uh, bring your bag painting? I, I, I know what you said. I, know what you said. <laughs> I don't know why I literally heard it for what you said. What? Like, I'm trapped, there's music playing, and I'm painting. I, I really oh. heard <laughs> trap music playing. I was like, what? Oh, that's crazy. That sounds like, like I don't want to. No, that was a great night. And I was like, wait, 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 they trap you to no. really paint? I'm just saying, like, nothing. No, I know what you said. I, 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 I was, I had an old man moment. I'm sorry. I, 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 I know what you said. <laughs> trap no, music, paint. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so yours, is like a a yours is a massage. It's like, okay. Not only that, <laughs> couples. And it's mostly women, but I'm going to say couples, like people. But it is mostly women. And I hate mm -hmm. saying that because you probably got, like, that 1% of people saying, no, it's not. And, 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 and then you got like, a million comments. But that's cool. I take a million back comments. But, uh,. <laughs> Come on, get the algorithm going. <laughs> what, what you call it? Um, I was gonna try, it, 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 try to throw a little bit. My point is, you can make anything fun. Mm -hmm. Now, if you really wanted to go to get your back massage in a side place, and you wanted to do something romantic, and he want to go to trap music painting, <laughs> <laughs> or she want to go to trap music painting, because there are some girls. Yeah, it's mostly. A I'm not gonna say it's mostly a girl thing, but like, I know girls drag their, you know, partners to stuff, so... No, but I'm saying, let, let, let's flip the road. There are girls that might be like... And they, they are those guys. And there's nothing wrong with those guys. There are those guys that's like... They don't want to take you to the massage place, you know, romantic. And... Mm -hmm. there, Guys, listen. There are guys that are romantic too long of a period. You know, it's like the difference between making love and the girls like talking to her friends like, Yo, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to one day just go in the bathroom. <laughs> Every time I got the champagne and he got comb my hair. And I, <laughs> yeah, comb uh, my hair. And I lay in my back. Uh, <laughs> I just want to make him do that. <laughs> Throw me in the bed, finish me off, <laughs> splash a cup of water on my face and go to sleep. Like, I, just picture, <laughs> I just picture, I just picture her in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> he come around. Yeah. You're so I love beautiful. you so much. So <laughs> And she's sitting there like, now nah, I'll give anything to him to punch you in the back of the head. <laughs> Drown me. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Like, no, I know what you mean. Like, be aggressive or something. Yeah, and then there's you know? people that, that miss that point at the fact that yeah. there's 
everybody, I would say women and men, because mm -hmm. me being a guy, there are days that I'm like, all right, I want to make love. And there's days that I just want to get it in. Mm -hmm. And there's days that I really would love to go with you to like a, 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 a hot stone massage or whatever, right, you know, right. a place like that, something, something romantic. Right. Even give her the option to go trap music painting. I'll be like, that sounds like fun, but like, I think this is this is overdue. Like, mm -hmm. I want to, not even overdue, like, I kind of want to do this. Right, right. And there are some guys and girls that ex they take the romantic part and it extends too far. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the disconnect between guys and girls sometimes comes. Because girls are obviously girls are more romantic than guys at times. So girls would extend that part too much mm -hmm. to the point the guys like. All right, so we back. We apologize. Our battery died because you know we talk too much. But yeah. we giving you this info. <laughs> we well, not even info. We giving you our opinion. So we want to really get it across. But the battery died and everything like that. But. Yeah. I forgot what I was saying last time, but I think by all this, you kind of get the just at the fact of, as I say, to say that uh, what we learned is, or we kind of come up with is the fact that you should weigh out your options mm -hmm. to see what's, what's more important. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. that thing we always laugh at? Foist. <laughs> Ain't that funny when people do a thumb first? When people do a thumb first, they're serious as hell. Like, the first off, anyway, um, weigh out your options. Mm -hmm. See if something's going to happen again or not happen. You know what I mean? Um, communicate to each other. Communicate. Instead of fighting or arguing. Oh, that's what I was saying earlier. I was saying some people extend the romantic part too Oh, long. yeah, yeah, yeah. To top that off, the romantic part is beautiful. It's awesome that you have it in there, but guys and girls, <laughs> it, nice. it, 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 it gets boring. Not boring. It gets... Let's, let's stop that for a second. Let's just jump off a cliff, so to say. Right, spontaneous. Let's, let's be spontaneous. Let's do something fun. And, and let's, let's just, you know, let's, let's just get something going here, like, you know, let's go to the, to the, um, what was we were saying, the, the trap music trap painting. Music painting. You know what I mean? Let's do that. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't want to make love today and burn a hundred candles. Like, turn the candle on and burn me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. You know, choke me. You know, like, like, oh, or the girl, you know, put on something sexy and throw in the trap and just start twerking for the guy. You know what I mean? Like, like, I'd be happy with that, but like. You know? <laughs> Versus we come out the shower like, you know, you trying to try and sit there and you kiss. I love you, baby. Sometimes mm -hmm. right, you know, he, the guy's like, what's she, what's she in the shower doing so long? And you hear, don't stop. Don't uh, the girl come out, you're like, oh, oh we, we do, it's a party today. You know, so my point is, there's, it comes a point where you have to break the romance. And that, that's another conversation. Break the romance and be spontaneous. But that's, we'll, we'll go into that another conversation. But, you know, as far as compromising, remember that. Communicate, um, understand the odds, what's going to happen again, what's not going to happen again, what's mm -hmm. more important. Um, don't fight about it. See if you could blend them both together, bring that part over here, bring that part over there, whatever the case. Go to both, both, and see if you could do something in between that. And also, what was the last thing we said that was really good? Have fun. Yeah, always, <laughs> always have fun. I have something that took my tongue. <laughs> Always have fun with it, but um, man, I came with the last piece I wanted to say. But I think by the end of it, we all got it all together in a sense. Yeah. Of, at the end of the day, don't argue about it. Right. Because that's the most important. Oh, uh, that's what I'm saying. And don't be vindictive about it. Yes. If you, to tell you, you should you should stop doing this, and you agree, and you compromise, and you stop doing that, does not mean that you gotta go take something away from this person now. It right. does not mean that. And it doesn't mean because you compromise once that you can't compromise again, like in a sense of like, all right, you stop drinking, okay, then something completely different comes up. Like, you want to go there and want to go there, and you obviously feel like, yeah, that might be a better thing, but you want to hold on to the principle and be like, mm -hmm. nah, we, we, we did that last time. We, we're going over here. Right. And you, but you know, deep in your heart, like, that might be better. That might be better, yeah, that <laughs> might be better, but you yeah. know, I want to hold on to the principle. Right. It's not principle, it's a pride. Right. So, with that being said, it's something I, we, we keep missing out to tell y'all. Got the book, Shut the F Up and Love, that basically, um, I meant to bring it up a few episodes before and I always forget. So, it's called Shut the F Up and Love. Don't want to say the whole word because then YouTube going to block me plus the whole word is not there. <laughs> but you can get it, you can click on the link in the bio on our Instagram where I'll put it in the YouTube video. And basically it goes to almost just, just about everything we talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. From like, you know, life and relationships and dealing with the loss of a loved one, dealing with a loved one, dealing with life itself, being late to work. It's just all types of 
um, if, ands, and don'ts, and the way you should handle things in life. Not the way you should, but the way we see things in life. So we kind of crammed it into a 100-page book. Um, it's fun to read if you're a person that don't like curses or vulgar language. Um, you can also get the edited version, which is called You're Alive, What Are You Living? Stop Being Afraid of Yourself. It's the same book, it's just no cursing, but I'll be honest with you, the cursing version is... It makes it funny. It, it's, it's, <laughs> it's hilarious. It's hilarious. So yeah, that, that we'll put the link below, and again, no pressure, but if you want something to read while we build on these episodes, if you want something to read that doesn't have to do with relationships, because these episodes are mostly about relationships, mm -hmm. but you want something to read that is touching on a little bit on everything, all aspects of life that we just talked about, and you kind of just want to get a different point of view, a very aggressive, straightforward, but help you get to the next day point of view, Check the book out. It's awesome. Post yourself with a picture in front of your Lambo with the book. And we'll make sure we'll be sharing on our page. And, you know, on that note, I'm going to get another drink. You have to do whatever you want. Bye.